Now I think this is the use of this meter I'll get most, which is continuity, so if we hold the probes together, we get uh, green LED indication above the display, we get the audible sound, which you can hopefully hear. I quite like the LED in a noisy environment, where if you've got, say, an engine running or a motor, you'd still be able to see there's a visual indication there of, uh, of continuity. So uh, that uh, that's rather nice. And the other facility that's worth checking on here is the NCV for checking the presence of, uh, of a live cable. So a long press on this button here sets us into NCU mode. Now I've got a live cable here, so we'll advance the meter towards it. The sensing area is at the top, and it's already showing up something. So we get slow beeping and a green LED with an L indicated as we begin to approach it. And if we move closer, it starts to beep faster, and we get the H and the red LED as we're right next to it. So that's the uh, NCV function, and NCU as it says on the display, you can't display a V on that display. Another long press on that will return it back to auto. This also is the button that uh, doubles for the whole function. This right hand button is probably worth talking about. That turns off the backlight. The meter does have uh, auto on, auto off, which you can disable if you want. And a long press on that one turns on the flashlight on the back there, which you can hopefully uh, see. And then a long press will, will turn that off. That's the Tesman multimeter. It seems to uh, do what it says. Okay, well that's it for the look at the Tesman TM510 Smart Multimeter. Uh, ideal meter, I think, for keeping in your toolbox. 